Today is January 20th, 2012. <clears throat> right now, I'm going to talk about the mark, the so-called mark of the beast, okay? That uh, many Bibles talk about. Now, you got a lot of people that get shit all twisted, you know? And think the mark of the beast is this, and think that it's that, etc., etc. And some of it is true, some of it is not. Okay? But I'm here to clear this shit up. Alright? Within the black community. The brothers, you need to listen up. Okay? Now, the mark of the beast. I'm going to explain to you what exactly, exactly what the fuck it is. Okay? The mark of the beast is a system. Alright? A system. That's what it is. In different stages, stage one, okay, you get your mark when you first born, all right. The birth certificate, all right. It's like this mark of the beast is like a circle, okay. The circle starts when you're born, all right, with that birth certificate. Many people don't know there's a number on the birth certificate, okay, that any stockbroker. A trader on in the uh in, in in on Wall Street can can key in and find out how much you worth. Okay, you hear a lot of billionaires and shit. A millionaire say, "I'm worth this much." Okay, I'm worth that much because it's based off of the, the the birth certificate. Okay, a number that's on the birth certificate. They can find out how much you are so-called worth in the system. All right. That's the first. That's the first step. All right. Second step is your social security number. All right. You basically legally, legally, you can't buy or sell without a without a social security number, a birth certificate too. All right. You need those two to be a part of the system. Okay. Th those are two marks right there. Two marks, so you're still going around in a circle. It's not a complete circle yet, all right? Not 360 degrees, but it's going there, all right? Now, the third mark, okay? The, the third mark is what you see behind me, your goddamn cell phone, okay? Yes, your cell phone. Your cell phone, even in, in, in the Bibles, okay, it says you receive a mark on your hand and your, your forehead, right? The majority of the people in the world right-handed, okay? I'm left-handed just like Obama, all right? So I can spot a right-handed person like it ain't nothing. Me being left-handed, I whoop many niggas' asses that thought I was going to come with the right hand and I came with the left. Okay, you ask any professional boxer... They have to call in a, a, a special uh, sparring partner, okay? Somebody to spar with that's, that's left-handed, that's not right-handed, if they're going to be fighting the person that's left-handed in the ring, okay? Now, what do you use? You use your right hand to put that phone up to your head, all right? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It ain't no coincidence that Oprah don't carry a cell phone. Neither do Warren Buffett or Larry King. Okay? If you not if you don't believe me, look it up. Oprah did Oprah was on a Larry King uh live show back in 2003. I, December 9th, 2003. Go and read the transcripts, okay? Go and read it if you don't believe me. Alright? Let me tell you why. It's not good to carry a cell phone. I don't have one. Okay? I don't have one. Not at all. I'll tell you why. A cell phone, why would you, you know, people talk about the RFID chip. That's bullshit, okay? If I want to rule the world, a lot of people have the, the motherfuckers that's running shit, okay? The humans that's running shit have RH negative blood just like I do. So I know how a lot of these motherfuckers think. If I want to rule a goddamn world, 
I wouldn't force people to take no trip. Your ass would be begging for it through the cell phone. As many cell phones, it ain't, you can't even pop, find a goddamn pay phone nowhere. Because everybody got cell phones. People getting in the wrecks using a goddamn cell phone. Locomotive engineers derailing trains by texting and shit. Okay? A cell phone is a goddamn epidemic, so why would I force people to take a goddamn RFID chip when I could put it in their damn cell phone? Huh? When it's in their cell phone, when I can listen to what whatever the fuck they doing, even if the cell phone is off, if I want to rule the world, I can listen to every, every, every conversation you have. I know where you at because GPS. I know your whereabouts. Okay, so this RFID bullshit, it, it ain't gonna fly. It's, it's exactly what it is. It's bullshit. Okay? Why spend tons of money and plant chips in people when they got a goddamn cell phone? They carry it where they go. You leave your cell For those of you who have cell phones, you leave your goddamn cell phone at home when you go to work. You gonna come back home on your lunch break to go get it. Huh? You go crazy without your cell phone. I've been there before. That's why I said, fuck it, I don't need no cell phone. Nah, it ain't, it ain't worth the trouble. It ain't. I got to worry about the goddamn government listening to my conversation. A lot of niggas that commit crimes don't even know how they get found, okay? It's because of your cell phone. That's why. Your goddamn cell phone is the chip, all right? It's the chip. You got the mark in your hand, your cell phone. You put it up to your head, all right? You put it up to your head. And not to mention, it causes cancer. Yes, cell phones got so much radiation, you put that shit up to your ear, cancer. Over a period of time, getting tumors in the brain. So don't believe this bullshit about the RFID chip. That's it's somewhat true, but it's not the RFID chip. You got it already. Your cell phone. The only way your cell phone is off, even if you turn it off by the button, you pull a battery from it. Okay? Cause it's still on. If the NSA wanted to listen to what the fuck you were saying, if you got your cell phone off with the off button, it, they're still listening. Or anybody that has that can that can hijack your signal can listen. All right. So this don't believe into the bullshit that people saying about you know the RFID and all this other bullshit. It's a system that's going in full circle. Okay. Haven't made around 360 degrees yet. You got the birth certificate, the social security number. Not a cell phone. What more do you fucking need? What more do the government need? Huh? They don't need nothing else. They know when you was born. Okay? Your whole credit history through, through, with your uh, social security number. Your job history. And where you at right now, which is your cell phone. Okay? If you got, if you owe bill collectors money, and they don't, you, you got a cell phone and they don't, you, you never gave them the number and they start calling your cell phone number? And you wondering why? Come back and look at this video. Let it, let it be a reminder. Why the fuck you think I wear this on my face? Huh? I'm gonna tell you why. Two reasons. Okay? No more than is insurance. Insurance for me whooping somebody's ass, okay? Somebody see me on the street say, hey, that's, that's the guy that was on uh, on the internet saying this, saying that. And somebody come, and, uh, come fucking with me. Uh, you know, I'm going to catch a charge. Okay? I'm going to catch a charge. I don't need no more charges right now. Number two, boy, the uh, facial recognition programs, okay? As long as there's a picture on the internet of your face, with the right software, people don't need to know your name. Your face is on there. 
cops know what the fuck I'm talking about. They use that shit all the time. Natching up eyes, natching up noses and shit, lips, all of that. I like my privacy. I like it. I'm going to hold on to it as long as I can. But the mark of the beast is not what you think it is. We all are marked some kind of way. But we're not totally locked in the system. Okay? We're not. So don't believe that bullshit about this and that and all this. I, I just broke it down to you right here. It makes sense. Alright? Stop letting people think for you. Start thinking for yourself. And pay attention to what's going on in the world. Alright? A goddamn gun don't really mean too much no more. A fucking keyboard more powerful than a gun now. Okay? The Iranians done proved that shit by, by taking down a, a goddamn Predator drone without firing one shot. They just hijacked it, okay? That's where we at right now. We, you know, the government tired of killing people now, okay? They just go hijacking shit. Okay? They just hijack shit. You save more money and you save more time. Right now, everything is about cost. Like I said, it would be very expensive to implant millions and billions of people with a goddamn chip when they already got one on their cell phone. You easily keep track, watching, knowing their whereabouts, and listening to whatever the fuck they got to say. Whether if they're on the phone or not. Like I said, billionaire Warren Buffett don't carry no cell phone. Billionaire. Oprah don't carry no cell phone. Larry King don't either. And there's plenty of others that don't carry no goddamn cell phone. But they ain't gonna get on TV and say why? Huh? Shit, when Oprah made that damn comment about the beef industry, and she had to come back and apologize, okay? So, they're going to freedom of speech right there. No goddamn freedom of speech when you got some money. You better keep that mouth shut and enjoy the ride. That's where we at in, in America these days now. Okay? But me, I speak up. Fuck it. I speak up and say what the fuck I want. And suffer the consequences later if there's any to, to come about. You see what I'm saying? Fuck all of that. We at war right now. We at war. Information war and war with guns. But the information war is the thing that's going on right now. This, all this, uh, this sofa and all this shit shutting down websites without no goddamn uh, warrant. The, the, n nothing. And say, fuck it. We, you doing suspicious activity. We gonna shut this shit down. So you know what? Don't believe the bullshit about the, 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 the mark of the beast. Okay? You ain't Going to hell and nothing like that. You even have a fucking choice, number one. It ain't like you had a choice. Mom or daddy, I don't want a birth certificate. Huh? Nah. You ain't have no choice. You ain't have shit to do with that. Same thing if you said with your social security number. How the fuck God gonna condemn you to hell? Okay, the, the the almighty creator God, creator of all things and above and beyond, sentenced you to hell for something that you ain't have no part of. You you ain't have no, no choice. That's bullshit. Okay? It's bullshit. A lot of it is all fucking bullshit. Okay? Just think for a minute. Just think. Stop taking shit literal that come from out of the Bible. All right? Give you another, another example. This shit about Noah in the Bible, okay? Which was uh, Zeandra in the Sumerian text, okay? Sumerian text is much, much fucking older than the Bible itself. The Bible is just a knockoff of the Sumerian text. If you got any kind of fucking common sense. 
you'll know there ain't no goddamn well you won't fit.